So hello again, I'm Alistair Ben and you're watching Expressive Photography. It's often been said there are few places in the world more beautiful than Scotland on a good day. But the basic reality is, is that way out here in the far west, it is more often wet than blue sky and sunny like this. In fact, the rainfall is so intense that it's not measured in feet or meters, it's measured in miles. Art building is still a very common uh, occupation out here on the west coast and uh, it is not unusual for us never to see the sun for sometimes many years at a time. My skin is not accustomed to this type of exposure and I'm going to have to take shelter fairly soon but thankfully I know a little forest just down the road here, rainforest, and that's what we're going to explore today. Now this is a, it is technically a rainforest in here. You can see all the mosses and uh, so forth have coated these trees and this is just because it's soaking wet here most of the time. I was talking to a guy in the pub last night who told me that there are more species of mosses and ferns in this one woodland than there are entire stars in the entire universe or, or is it 20? Yeah, sorry, 20 mosses and ferns. These are made up statistics, by the way. So the first thing you'll notice here is the tripod's really, really low on the ground. And the reason for that is when I put it up high, the composition that I wanted, I was having to tilt the camera down a little bit and that was causing the trees to, to flare out with the perspective. Uh, what I really wanted was a tilt shift lens so that I could make the composition and then correct it. Um, but I don't have one yet. But um, so let's have a look at the back of the camera here. Again, I'm just using the panoramic uh, X-Pan uh, 65 by 24 aspect ratio in camera to create this really nice slice of the, of the landscape here. Here a wren belting it out there. This spring is definitely on the way. So let's just have a wee look at the back of the camera and you'll see it's a very simple composition and I'll talk through some of the technical aspects of it as well. So what you'll see here is really quite a straightforward composition. I'm using the larger tree on the left hand side here um, to kind of be the centre of the composition and then the horizontal um, uh, branches going off to the right hand side. Um, and I, I really quite like this, it's really quite straightforward, quite simple, but I'm using f26, which on a medium format lens isn't uh, too uh, ridiculous. We don't have to worry too much about um, any of those little idiosyncrasies uh, of maybe shooting with a smaller aperture. But at the end of the day here, it's really just about trying to find uh, a very simple you know and looking at all these amazing mosses in there this is one of the things obviously with the with the the gfx 100s here is that the resolution is beautiful and the detail in these shots really is absolutely stunning uh, i'm not using i'm just using a standard provia um color um, simulation or film simulation here and you can see that the trees are more or less vertical there's there might be a little bit of um uh, perspective shift in them but nothing too major. So let's uh, have a wee wander around and see if we can find something else.
other things I really love about this place is it is so calm and still. There's absolutely no wind here at all this morning and the only noise is the, the birds singing. There's a wren, there's chaffinches and great tits. There's a little stream behind me kind of bubbling away and it's just so tranquil. And one of the things I really like about these uh, mossy trees is they're almost like totems. You know, they're, they're, they remind me a little bit like the sort of cactus and Joshua tree or, um, or carvings, you know, um, of, of kind of religious significance. There's something really ancient about them, even though they're probably only, some of these trees, I don't know, they might only be 60 or 70 years old. But I, I do like trying to find compositions that are kind of a celebration of character almost. Um, so one of the things that's really important in forests is where things overlap, they, they, they get busy, the, the shapes become confused. And if we think about that in a classic ex uh, expressive photography sense, where the luminosity, contrast, color, atmosphere and geometry the geometry of a shape of a tree um, is very distinct to us because we tend to see it as an individual and there is that classic not being able to see the forest for the trees and that is very very true when you're shooting them is that once they start to overlap those two trees become one shape as far as the camera is concerned and I think that's one of the really important things in forest photography it's not always possible, of course, you know, you're always going to have some overlap, but sometimes if you can hide one tree behind another tree, that really helps. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time here, and once I've got what I think might be the best, or what the best I can do anyway, then we'll have a look at that uh, composition. But I, I like these characters a lot at the moment. One of the things I really like about this composition is, first of all, it feels really expansive, you know, it feels like a really wide scene. Um, and the other thing I really like is this warm light that you can see through the back there. It's, it's not the sky, it's actually the sunlight starting to hit some of the trees behind. And I do really love that sense of, you know, depth where you've got the cooler stuff in the foreground, that mossy totems that we were talking about. I tried to separate them as best I can. It took a little while to move the camera around to, to get in a place where I would get some of that separation. Um, it will be interesting to see when I get back on the computer. There is a little bit of a uh, shift uh, where the camera's pointing down slightly, uh, ever so slightly, so we're getting, or maybe some of the trees are just a bit bendy. But uh, yeah, I mean, looks good to me so far, but who knows? <laughs> I'm enjoying myself, that's for sure. Just as a side note, this is also just about the steepest hill in Scotland. <sighs> Getting too old for this lark. I think one of the things we tend to forget with photography is that it's not real. Um, what we see with our eyes is not always what the camera sees. Uh, I've got my, when I started looking through the scene here, there's a tree kind of off to the side there and it, it, it is catching the light coming in from the side. And it's, if we have a look at the back of the camera here, what's happening with the scene is that this central tree really seems like it's standing out against this dark background. 
And this is partly to do with the way that cameras expose and how they see the world, which is always has to be some kind of degree of compromise um, to allow those highlights to not blow and to be oversat uh, to be too too bright. The rest of the scene falls into a slightly darker space. And what that's happening here is we've got this really strong contrast and this, this luminosity of that tree standing there and it's hypnotic. <laughs> Looking through the viewfinder, it's just so intense in comparison to what I experienced with my eyes. And I think this is a really interesting thing with photography is it allows us that opportunity to magnify the experience, to, to, to feel it more intently. Yes, I can be in here without a camera in my hand and experience the forest in a, in a really nice, tranquil way. However, um, looking through the viewfinder and creating intense electric, uh, almost uh, hyper real sensations is, is also incredibly satisfying. So I'm having a really great time uh, just exploring this little mossy forest and I hope uh, you found some of the information that I've given you here quite interesting and some of the images are to your liking. Um, if not, that's fine. <laughs> there's, no, uh, there's no guarantee that you're going to like any of my work, but that's fine. Um, I always feel in places like this that there's always so much to see and just being out here is every time I come out it's really really special. Um, one of the things I've really tried to promise myself over the last couple of months is to get out more often, to try and get out more often, to try and make more content actually out here in the landscape. With Out of Darkness now shipping and the books uh, moving around ac across the world, uh, it's a massively time-consuming task for both myself and Anne Christine. There's prints to be made and signed. There's um, all the books to be uh, autographed and uh, packaged and wrapped and sent out uh, to the clients who bought them. Um, so we're spending an awful lot of time in the office and this is just a, a little bit of my space and it's been great to just come out here for a few hours. Very cold this morning, uh, so I'm absolutely frozen. But um, yeah, I hope you find this interesting. Uh, please uh, subscribe and give us a thumbs up and jump into the comments if you've got anything uh, positive to say. Uh, if you've got something negative to say, then keep it to yourself. Um, <laughs> but thank you very much for watching anyway. Bye for now.